Networks, well, BLS e-services, that's a new kid on the block. Uh, it listed a whopping 130% premium in comparison to the issue price. Mr. Shikhar Agarwal, who is a joint managing director of BLS International Services, joins us on the show. Hi, Shikhar. First of all, congratulations. A big listing today. And all your shareholders, whoever got allocated, well, they'll be dancing away to the bank. And in fact, they'll have a very good day as well as a good day evening. But now the challenge starts for you, right? You've raised the money. Now more onus on you to deliver. So could you tell us how do you see revenues move up from year on? Just looking at the half-year numbers, you're already at a run rate of more than 310 crores approximately. So what kind of revenues do you do for this year? On that sort of a base, how do you grow? Thank you so much. So, so you see, uh, we as a company have always been focused on the revenue and profitability of the company. Uh, you know, the money that we will also raise uh, from the listing uh, is planned to utilize, amongst other things, in, in organic growth, technological advancements, uh, different purposes. So I think that will also uh, lead to a good revenue addition and profitability of the company through acquisitions. Uh, you know, we are working with multiple banks in different states in India. We expect, uh, you know, to add new banks going forward to add new states going forward so definitely you know the momentum that we have achieved uh, last year you know we want to maintain that uh, you know through this new growth capital there will definitely be a boost uh, to all our inorganic capabilities and organically we have a healthy pipeline of different tenders different banks and different states for growth all right so you know we understand all of this uh, just tell us the kind of scalability that you have in this business in terms of revenue last three years You've doubled your revenue practically every year. The CAGR has been over 94%. Margins have improved as well. And you did allude to putting some money aside for inorganic growth through acquisitions. So tell us what are these areas that you're looking at in terms of acquisitions? What is the size of the business that you plan to add? Organically, how fast can you grow? And inorganically, what is your target here? See, now BLS in, uh, e-services has more than 98,000 touch points spread across the length and breadth of the country. We have around 4 lakh people that come to our centers every day. Uh, so, you know, we are seeing what kind of services we can cross and upsell to them, you know, through our assisted e-service model. So, we are looking at acquisition in that respect. We are looking at expanding in different states. Right now, we work with UP, Karnataka, Rajasthan, West Bengal in banking and, uh, you know, e-governance services, land record registration. So, we are in discussion with different states uh, to utilize uh, you know our services at the same model uh, you know negative working capital upfront collection of cash from citizens minimum EBITDA margins that we expect so it can be a healthy business environment where we work in so definitely we expect more states coming in India with similar kind of tenders on the banking space you know we are large, one of the largest banking partners for State Bank of India we are already tied up with Bank of Baroda a couple of private sector banks like HDFC uh, Kotak Mahindra Karur Vyasa we are looking at different adding new new banks and also adding new services with our existing banks. Got it. All right, uh, Shikhar, I'll try again. You know, in the last few years, you've gone from 70 crores of revenue to 250 crores of revenue. That's as of FI, the last year, FI23. This year, you're on track to do more than 330 crores, approximately, 310 approximately. Could you tell us, you know, by FI25, should we assume that you'll get to at least 400 crores of revenues and your margins as well have improved to mid-teens? Is there scope to further improve from here? See, as per the RHP, whatever we have filed, you know, uh, the numbers that we have uh, dedicate, uh, you know, indicated are, you know, historical numbers that we have achieved. And definitely, you know, our objective uh, in getting this money also was to utilize it fully for growth capital. So definitely we expect good growth numbers coming in the next few years. Uh, I don't have any clear visibility on the exact number that we will achieve now. But even if you see in our parent companies, the margins have increased. Uh, we are at 20% uh, plus margins uh, in BLS International this company we have achieved EBITDA margins of 13-14% and our objective as a company is to grow the revenue profitability when economies of scale kick in, uh, you know, cost becomes, uh, goes down, more revenue right. comes from uh, each uh, service point, revenue goes up. So definitely uh, margins should go up in the next few years. All right. Uh, let's talk about a couple of, uh, you know, risks that there are. One, a large PSU bank accounts for 60% of your revenue. At what terms do they renew? And what is it that you're doing to expand your base from a customer standpoint? That is point number one. Secondly, you said you are at 98,000 touch points right now. Where do you intend to take this number? 
And per touch point, what is the sort of revenue accretion do you see? See, uh, the banks, if you talk about, you know, when we started, you know, SBI is the largest public sector bank in India. Uh, so we started this model, started uh, banking correspondent model, started with them. Uh, we acquired the first company, Zero Mass, uh, you know, which was started this sector. So we have already started diversifying into different banks like Bank of Baroda, uh, Karur Vyasa Bank, HDFC Bank, uh, Punjab National Bank. So we already started uh, doing that. You know, we already started generating good amount of revenue from other banks. Having said that, we want to expand network with our existing banks and also expand into newer banks. Uh, you know, the touch points that we have currently, uh, you know, 98,000 uh, touch points across, spread across all the states and union territories of India, we definitely see a big potential of growth. You know, we still have not reached, uh, you know, all, all the nooks and corners of the country. There is still demand. This model is still evolving. So we see good growth coming in the numbers, you know, as our revenue expands, uh, the touch points should also increase. Always good speaking to you, Shikhar. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to chatting up with you on both the listed companies that you have right now and look forward to getting some numbers as well the next time we talk. For the time being, though, very, very, uh, you know, solid listing is what you had. So congratulations on that front and uh, touch base soon. Well, for the